Hi guys, welcome to the session on machine construction, mounting of bearings. Myself, Professor Bushari, welcomes you for the today's session on machine construction, mounting of bearings. Knurling objective of the today's session. After this session, you will be able to mount bearings on shaft. You will able to mount different machine elements on shafts. Now let us see the important things that to be cons considered while constructing the machines. While constructing the machines means while mounting the parts. The important things that we have to take into account. The first one is the proper functioning of the parts. Each and every machine element should work properly. That we have to check. Then second cost of the component or cost of the parts. The lubrication system which is used for the lubrication of machine element. Then age of manufacturing and assembly. That means how it should be assembled in easy way and dismantling for maintenance purpose. It is the requirement. Then strength and rigidity of the parts that is important one. Then we are of the parts that we have to take into account. Then is of service and maintenance. That means we can easily do its servicing and for maintenance purpose we can dismantle it properly. Then proportion of the parts. All these are the things that we have to take into account while constructing the machinery. But before mounting, there are two basic principles of mounting and these two principles are very important. The while mounting any machine element, we have to take into account these two principles. The principle one, every part of rotating assembly must be supported radially. That means whatever the part we are going to mount on the shafts or any part we are going to mount it, so we have to take the care that rotating part or a rotating assembly must be supported radially. And the second principle of mounting is every part of rotating assembly must be retained or held axially. That means proper mounting, retainment along axial direction. These two principles that we have to take into account while mounting the bearings as well as the machine components. Now proportion of the parts. That means suppose if you are going to mount, look at this, it's a shaft to bearings which give support to the shafts. Gear one gear which is mounted on the shaft, but you know the width of the gearing and the dimension which is not proper, improper proportion of the parts, gear size and the shaft size. The proportioning is poor, poor in this case. That means while constructing the machinery, while mounting the parts, we have to take the care of this proportion of the part. Sometimes you know the diameter of the shafts may be very, very less and the width and the uh, PCD of the gear, if it's the more, then it's not also a proper, you know, the proportion. So, while constructing the parts, that points we have to take into account. It's just one of the example of gear and the shaft. So, now let us consider the first principle. What is the first principle? Every part of rotating assembly must be supported radially. Now, in this case, look at this, the first principle, you will find I have shown here the bearing housing, this is the ball bearing, both the ends which give support to the shafts, this is the gear which is mounted, give a slot which is provided here. But as per the first principle, it should be supported readily. Readily means we have to fit these parts properly. Now suppose gear which is mounted on the shaft. That means to have a proper, to prevent the relative motion between this gear and the shaft, we have to use a key. That's why use a key here to mount this gear here on the shafts properly. Then second one important point is bearing in housing. Again here, the shaft, we can going to fit the shaft properly in the house, uh, in the bearing and uh, inner rest, uh, and the outer diameter of the shafts are the same one, same one in this case. Again second, bore diameter of the bearing and the shaft diameter which is same. But here what care we have to take? We have to take the care, the how to fit the bearing in the housing 
that means to have a uh, to support give the supports radially that is important one so in first principle we have to do this and we have to take the care of these things now let us see here in this uh, figure you will observe here the two bearings are shown gear which is mounted and gear key which is used this key prevents the relative motion between the shafts and the gear and because of the as the shaft rotates gear is also going to rotate and it sub prevents you know the radial movement radially which is properly fitted here again second thing inner race rotates along with the shafts but here the outer race we have shown here properly fitted here in the housing outer race and that's why it is not going to move and that's why here in earlier figure here housing here which is shown that means it uh, readily uh, the moment of the outer race which is prevented here in of the bearing in housing that is important that means the first principle that we have to follow in this way by preventing their relative motions by using the keys in between the shafts and the gears in this example in this way you can do for the others if sprockets or the pulleys are mounted on it you can use the keys and the proper arrangement then the second case look at this now we are as per the second principle of the mounting here what is the second principle every part of rotating assembly must be retained or hold axially retain or hold axially means what is going to happen in this case it's okay this gear which is mounted on the shaft it's prevent relative motion but there may be possibility if it's a helical gear what would happen there may be possibility of shifting up the gears towards the right side or towards the left sides you know very well in case of helical or the bevel gear axial force component is there how to prevent this axial moment and for that purpose here for the shafts here step which is provided and gear which is mounted on it and because of this step here what is happening step or is over here in this case what is happening it prevents the axial moment of the gear towards the right hand side and to prevent radially we have already used the key here then second thing look at this at this portion at this portion you will find again the shafts here this is the shaft here step is given or shoulder is provided to the shafts because of that it properly fit with in the, along with this inner rest but because of this the shoulder or the step this it prevents the axial moment of inner rest toward this side also try to understand that means the step or shoulder which helps to prevent the axial moment of the gear towards right hand side and it prevents the axial moment of the inner rest towards the left hand side in this way this side also you can prevent it by providing step and shoulder but here if we are going to provide the step towards the sides it's impossible how to remove the gear for that purpose it should be the open one but you can use the other option to prevent this axial moment axial moment of the gear we will see here look at this here this is the say step which is given to the shafts and because of that see it uh, prevents the axial moment of the gear towards the sides and along with the shafts here in the race of the bearing which is going to rotate to earlier we had discussed earlier this is the uh, video it will give a lot of you know the uh, clear picture how the you know the shaft steps which is given to the shafts and how it prevents the axial moment of the gear towards the right hand side now then for the gear it prevents here the axial moment towards the right hand side how to prevent the axial moment towards the left hand side if you are going to put the step here but uh, it's uh, it becomes very difficult to how to remove the gear for maintenance and other service purposes for that purpose to prevent this axial moment towards the side here the spacer which is used spacer means a hollow cylindrical you know the tube which is inserted on the shafts is having the same inner diameter of the spacer which is the same like a inner di outer diameter of the shafts and because of the spacer it prevents axial moment of the gear towards the uh, left hand side again here the inner race of the bearing look at this it comes in contact with the spacer and because of that it also prevents the uh, axial moment of the inner race towards the side in this way we can uh, restrict the axial moment of the gear towards left and right and the inner race of the bearings towards the left and right but look at this here housings which is provided is also prevents the axial moment of the outer race towards the side outer race towards the side outer race towards the side that means that care we have to take that means axial moment of the gear 
can be restricted, prevented by using the spacer, tape, shoulder, fillet, etc. And even though inner race is moments, it also helps to prevent the axial moment of the inner race as well as the outer race uh, because of this the spacer, because of this the fillet, because of this the housing also. In this way, we can restrict the radial as well as the axial moment of the component which are mounted on the shaft. But here our focus is how to restrict this the amount, uh, bearings, the inner race and an outer race because of this housing and what to do for this the inner race from the side and again inner race from the side for that purpose look at this here. Again here spacer which is uh, provided and because of the spacer it prevents the its axial moment towards this left hand sides and this part comes in contact with the inner race of the bearing. Then um, important thing how to restrict the moment of this inner race towards this side and inner race towards this side and for that purpose another machine element that is lock nut is used. Along with the lock nut here we can use the washer also inside the you know the ear washer and then lock nut we can tighten it and after tightening the lock nut lock nut it comes in contact with these parts and because of the it, it restricts these the moments towards the uh, axial direction maybe towards the right or maybe towards the left hand side try to understand and again over which here the uh, bearing cap which is also provided and because of this bearing cap it's a if you are it's a cut section if you are going to observe from the left hand side it's a circular one and this projected part of the bearing cap which comes in contact with this the uh, outer race of the bearing and because of this it restricts the moment of the outer race towards the side and similarly you can fit the bearing cap towards the side again how to fit this bearing cap with the housing for that purpose here nut and bolts Four nut and bolts are used to fit it properly and to have a proper fitting here yeah, same which is inserted is like a sheet metal parts which is inserted or a small speed seat having a small thickness which is inserted here. Again here sometimes if we would like to take the uh, this the shaft uh, which is outside of the bearing cap or the assembly to connect with the prime over that time we are going to use the um, bearing seals also it prevents the leakage of the oils and the leakage of the parts also this is about the mounting of the parts and mountings of the bearings also again here this cover plate or the bearing cap is bolted to the housing and commercial oil seal which is used where the shaft which comes outside of this assembly to prevent the leakage of the lubrication. Now again another important point preloading of the bearing. In preloading look at the same figure two bearings are used here but important thing here how to preload the bearing this is the bearing cap nut and bolts nuts bolts are used here lock nut which is used here the washer which is used but how to preload the bearing the purpose of the preloading to reduce the clearance between the element and the braces that's why outer race back to back inner race by lock nut the outer race is the here preloading is done by here back to back here outer race look at this here this side and inner race by the lock nut again in case of machine tools the precision equipment should rotate without any play that's why preloading plays important role and this preloading is achieved by the two methods one is the roller bearing is mounted on taper shaft or a sleeve which causes the inner race to expand and remove radial clearance and second one is the outer race is pleated in the housing bore by interference feet and accordingly it removes the radial clearance also again here while mounting the parts here sometimes to lock it properly this inner race moments exactly we have to use the retainer rings here and for that purpose you can observe the retainer how the retainer rings are fitted on the shafts also here in uh, figure one two three four you will find retainer rings are used here again while mounting the bearings we have to take the care here sometimes we can use the ball bearings and roller bearings on the same shaft or ball bearings or straight roller bearings are often used together 
try to understand but it's not possible to use the ball bearing and taper one bearing taper bearings are also are used in pair because even though the radial load which acts on the bearing and because of the construction of the taper roller bearing there is a thrust component or axial component when we are going to resolve this reaction you will get one vertical and one horizontal component and to nullify the effect of that horizontal component or axial component we have to use the taper roller bearings in pairs and that's why taper roller bearings are used in pairs and is having face to face and back to back mounting face to face mounting arrangement is shown here this is the taper roller and the axis of this the taper roller here which is going to intersect at the apex points uh, or in uh, one it is on the same line of the uh, axis of the shaft this is the face to face mounting that means faces of the bearings are nearer to each other and another one is the back to back mounting in back to back mounting faces are back to back here look at the back side of the bearing and this is also the back side of the bearing thank you thank you very much uh, for the mountings of the bearing we have to take some care and these precautions are mounting should be carried out in industry environment then before assembly shaft and housing bore should be inspected then bearing should not be taken out from its package until it is assembled then small bearings are mounted on the shaft with the help of small piece of tube or a ring likewise the precaution that we have to take into account while mounting of the bearing this is about some of the important points and the principles that you have to take into account while mounting the bearing thank you i have reported video in this book design of machine element third edition megroil publication thank you if you have any query you please contact us through the whatsapp number 9890426679 or mail me at pbkushare@kkwork.edu.in thank you thank you very much